Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is the UE Sandfall game has crashed and will close. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, make a right click once again. And this time you can try dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this for the next step. Now the next step is to turn on or turn off Steam overlay. Now for this, go to Steam at the top right and then go to settings, go to in game and if enable the Steam overlay while in game, if this is off, you can turn it on and then check. If this is already on, turn it off and then check. If that does not work, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the general tab, enable the steam overlay while in game. So if this is off, you can turn it on and then check. If this is already on, turn it off and then check. Now the next step is to open AMD software. So if you have AMD graphic card, then open AMD software. So go to graphics settings and once you once you go to the graphics settings, you can select the game and this is just an example. Once you select the game, now over here you can see red on anti lag. So if this is on, you can disable red on anti lag and then you can check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now the next step is to try Windows power plants. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel, go to hardware and sound and then go to power options. Now over here, if you see, you have to try all three. In my case, it's only balance. So if you see power saver, you can try power saver. If you see high performance, you can select high performance. So over here, you can see power saver. So select power saver and then check if that does not work. You can try high performance and then check if that does not work. You can even try balance. Check which one is working fine for you. Now, the next step is to, if you're using Intel Extreme Tuning Utility Software, if you're not using it, you can install it from Google. You can just go to Google and search for Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. And then you can lower down the performance score ratio to 56, 55, or maybe 54 or 53. So you can try to lower it down. So you can go to Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and performance score ratio, you can try 55, 54, or maybe 53x, apply the settings and then check. Now, the next step is to verify the game files. Now, to verify the game files, uh, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to restart Steam. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to Steam, click on exit, and then again open Steam. If there is any update, you can update it and then check. If that does not work, launch Steam as an administrator. Now for this, you can close Steam first, exit Steam, and then you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam, and then you can click on run as administrator, and now you can check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you have, now for many players, uh, closing malware bytes has worked. So if you have malware bytes running, you can just close it and then launch the game and then check. Now, if you're using Windows security, then you can open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, if you, and then go to Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access, click on yes to allow, and then click on add an allowed app, click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps. Open this sand fall folder, binaries, win64. This time select this exe file and then click on open. 
and now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top and then click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder binary is win64 select this exe file and then click on open click on add in my case i have already added the game again click on browse and then this time go back and select the first exe file add both the files and then click on open and then click on add so in my case i have already added the game so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game on steam and then select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder open the sandfall folder binaries folder win64 and then select this game exe file make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work you can go to properties make a right click and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working again go to properties and this time put a check over here and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can even try windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can do the same thing with the first exe file and still when you put a check on all these boxes so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can just uncheck all these boxes and then make sure that you hit apply and do the same thing with the first exe file and then follow the next step now the next step is to do not overclock your computer so if you have over overclocked your computer set it to default once you have set it to default now you can close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner reva tuner and then check disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check for many user enabling is working so you can try both enable and disable and check which one is working fine for you now if you have any other overlay application like discord running you can try uh, go to the discord settings turn off overlay and then check if you have nvidia app running in that case you can open nvidia app and then you can go to settings and then turn off overlay you can try both on and off and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to rename the save game files but create a backup first because when you rename the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now for this you can open file explorer in your computer now once you open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder open sand fall folder over here you will see all your save game files so make a right click on sand fall and then copy this and maybe paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created over here now you can just rename it rename the save game folder and then you can check so sandfall.old now you can launch the game but the game will start from scratch and you already have a backup so you can just replace it if you want now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then 
you will see the screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete you restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to roll back graphics card driver now this has also worked i'm showing for nvidia so you can go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select the right graphic card right operating system and then click on find and then on this page scroll down and click on view more version for many users installing right now the latest graphic card driver is 576.02 uh, you can try 572.83 uh, for many users uh, 572.42 has worked so you can scroll down you can even try this one so try to roll back graphics driver but when you put it when you install the driver make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then make sure that you restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add a desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file click on add now once the game is added over here uh, once you see the game in the list click on the game and then select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here select it and do the same thing with the first exe file so once you see the first exe file click on it and then select high performance nvidia graphic card you will see your graphic card now select it and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual visual studio files uh, so you have to install this x86 and x64 version so download both x86 and x64 once you download it you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once both are installed you can close these windows and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 
into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manu manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. This has worked for many players. So do not ignore this. Update your system BIOS and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. If you have any extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of third party application or services running, close it and then check. Also, if you have undervolted you computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can just make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.